Apathy or Pup Star King Apathy back in the building with another video. And today I got some crazy, crazy, crazy gameplay for you guys today. I get a flawless nuclear on knockout. Now, the crazy part to begin with is this is my second time playing this map, so you can only imagine how good I am. But to be honest, guys, this is some crazy gameplay. I did not expect to go flawless. I just woke up, I'm like, hey, I wanted to try to do Seth's challenge. If you guys don't know who Seth is, He's scumpy. He does this try to get 70 kills in a team deathmatch challenge. You know, a fair 5v5, 66, whatever the case is, but a fair good match. And it's actually really, really, really hard. Because even if you do amazing, like I'd go, I go flawless in this game. I go 58 and 0. And I believe a couple players left in the end, which kind of hurt me. I don't know if I could have got closer. But even if you do really good, even if you play amazing, in the end of the day, it's pretty hard to achieve that. But I myself love a challenge. You know, once in a while, I'll wake up and be like, huh, let me play a map or two. Let me see if I can somehow do Scumpy's challenge. Obviously, I go hard as fuck. And when you're doing this, there's no like, oh, let me chillax. You got to go hard the whole map. You got to try your best. You got to sweat. Literally, sweat has to be dripping down your head. But, I mean, I hope you guys really enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said, it's some crazy, crazy gameplay. But now, I'm going to give you guys a secret cool tip. If you guys are watching this gameplay right now, I am actually rocking Overdrive. Also, when I woke up this morning, I was like, huh, what? I just, I just had this random thought in my head. What if this class could work? So, Overdrive is obviously, a lot of you guys know, probably one of the easiest uh, specialists to get. So, you know, it just takes a couple kills. Uh, it takes, like, a little bit of waiting time. You get it pretty damn fast. So, I thought to my head, I thought to myself, you know, what if I put Overclock on it, right? Overclock helps it you get even faster. If I'm getting a lot of kill, if I'm chaining kills, I get overdrive in like 5-6 kills. So I'm just thinking, this is actually a pretty good idea. What if the problem when getting 70 kills in Team Deathmatch, well, I think a problem is the fact that it's so many kills, you know, that's only letting your team get at least 30 kills. So that means you have to get 70 of the 100 kills. And your teammate has to do pretty bad too as well for you to achieve that, or you just have to be destroying them. So a huge problem is sometimes you are not in the position. You are not close enough. So what's better? You run overdrive and overclock. It allows you to pretty much, you get it at least, I, I think I got it like five, six times this game. So that's a pretty good difference. Yeah, I don't have kinetic armor. I don't have heat wave. I don't have a killing specialist, but you know, this allows me just to run around the map and make sure I get these kills. You see, like I'm just running overdrive all the time and it's just, it's so helpful. So this is actually like my little secret class. You guys can try this out. And for the people who are wondering also what I'm actually using, I'm actually using a VMP without quick draw. It's gonna be a grip, stock, and fast max class. Now the reason I'm not using quick draw, there was a, oh, I'll say about two months ago, there was sort of like a deep buff to the submachine guns where uh, their aim in sight or like, yeah, aim down sight is reduced high, like by a lot. So quick draw nowadays just helps it a little bit. Obviously, it could be a big, big difference when it comes to competitive. So completely understand about, I completely understand that like competitive. Okay, yeah, you know what? I should run quick draw. I tried we're not running quick draw competitive. It's actually not that bad, but those gunfights like, one gunfight in a game could be so, so crucial, so important that you not having quick draw and it costs you that gunfight could be game changing. So obviously in competitive, you want to run quick draw. But in public matches, it's not that serious. It's not like, holy shit, if I don't get this kill, my whole world ends. You know, I, I'm not, I, I get, I'm not going to get dropped, whatever the case is. So right here, my class, my submachine gun class, like I said, is this grip stock and fast mags fast stock is obviously really good on the vmp you kind of need it on the vmp now fast mags a no-brainer oh my god and i destroyed this kid but fast mags is a no-brainer you know obviously you you want to reload fast especially in public matches you know either run extended mags or fast mags i love fast mags just because the reload is so fast and it's, it's fun to watch but you know it's just it's such a good thing to do just reload faster shoot kill someone and just reload and then for my perks i am running Afterburner and Overclock and then Fast Hands and then Blast Suppressor and those that's all I'm running I, I usually Ghost is really good, but in Team Deathmatch like I said my main 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 goal Yes, getting kill streaks is good because it helps a lot 
but my main goal is to go fast everywhere, try to get the most kills as possible. So that's why I'm running Afterburner over um, Ghost and Overclock, obviously for the reason I said with Overdrive. Now there's been going a lot of disputes, a lot of anger in you know, the recent changes with the Varic Scope. Everyone knows the Varic Scope is so op right now, so before I go, I just want to address the situation. We all hate it. Don't get me wrong, yesterday's video, it got just a little, little bit hate because I told them about, you know, use the Varic Scope, it's so fucking good right now, like this class is amazing, like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, because that's literally how I acted in my video, because I was just, just, I was getting like eight pieces, like crazy kill feeds, and you know, I'm just, I'm trying to help out, I'm trying to let you guys know what's the best right now, you know, I've always been a very helpful, tipful guy, you know, I'll tell you straight up, oh like, this is really good, that's really good, so that's my intentions, I don't, I think it is OP'd, I think it needs to go. It's obviously pretty dumb. The fact that guns that has such high recoil barely recoils and doesn't even have grip, which is completely. But it's just something that has to be nerfed or changed. If you guys didn't know, you know, a lot of us pro players are pretty much agreeing to get it banned. Like we're pretty much agreeing to, you know, let's get rid of it. You know, it's too stupid. You know, let's let's make our own X rules and just get it out. Like let's get it out the way, bro. It's it's over. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first time actually going flawless. I went flawless in a free-for-all, but in an actual map, this is my first time. 58-0, got the victory, got the nuclear. I just, it's crazy, crazy gameplay. Second time playing Knockout. Really hope you enjoy. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.